What's up guys? This is Zach. As you can see, Chase isn't here, but he wanted me to do an update of my life, so here I am. So, today, we had a wedding, and hands down, it was beautiful. And, uh, it was, it was probably one of the best weddings I've ever been to. There was dancing, there was cake, there was so much food, and it was, it was glorious. And, um, as Chase talked about, we started school. That's been going pretty good. It's been, it's been a adventure for sure. I am doing a senior project with programmable logic controllers. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's, uh, the yeah, PLCs, most people probably know what it is. It's basically ladder logic programmable controller to basically it can control mechanisms, machines, and stuff like that to make them do what they do, which is pretty cool, which is why I like it. And, uh, let's see what else. Oh, some books. I don't know, Lean Six Sigma. It's, I'm not quite sure what it is, but this is what we're learning about. And The Six Sigma Way is another book that I have. And, uh, let's see. Java Programming. So those are the, the basic classes. I'm also taking a robotics course, but I don't really need a book for that. And then obviously the senior design, which doesn't really need a book either. You just have to make the project. And um, yeah, Java obviously is pretty self-explanatory. It's not copy, it's the programming language. And um, the basically what we've been doing so far is compiling code online. It's pretty easy so far. And then the Six Sigma basically is total quality control. So we we get to learn about how make flow charge, how to make things run together smoothly, which is obviously a big thing in most factories today. So it's a good thing that I'm learning that skill for future when I go into the business world or when I go into engineering world. And um okay. With school aside, I had something kinda sad happen to me at the um at Best Buy. I was trying to buy a projector. This projector that you see before you. And I went to the store yeah. and um, my mom was helping me pay for it. I paid with cash and she helped pay the rest. And then we got the box and everything and we brought it home and it was fine. Till we opened the box and found out there were two books, two cosmetology books, and no projector, and a coaxial cable, meant for, I'm pretty sure it was meant for the TV, for Nintendo's type thing anyway. Anyway, it was, and then there was a bottle of something. So we obviously got ripped off. So I had to work that night, so my mom had to bring it back for me and get it. So, but anyway, as you can see, we, we got it, and it's all fine now. So... But that was just a crazy experience. Also, be careful who you give your money to downtown. I just got ripped off. I, it was kind of my fault. I was kind of not very smart. But I let this guy basically take all the money in my wallet. Which I wasn't very smart. He asked me for money for a taxi. Which obviously isn't true now, I know. He took my... I gave him my phone number. He said he would return the money. But obviously he never returned the money. So now I don't have any more money. Well, I do have money now in my wallet. But, nah. It's just something that you need to learn. Obviously downtown Indianapolis even can be a dangerous place. So I learned that. Also, I have been doing... This bad boy, Rosetta Stone, Spanish. Yo estoy estudiando español. That's right, I am studying Spanish. I'm, I don't know why, I just wanted to learn some Spanish so I could be able to talk to the 
some of the Hispanics at work because I like to know what they're saying. And yeah, other than that, we had we had church today. Obviously, like I said, we had a wedding, and tomorrow we have Labor Day. Obviously, off for school. So hopefully, I'll get to watch Pitch Perfect sometime with Chase. I got that from the library. That'll be fun. And uh, yeah, but other than that, it's been pretty been a pretty good week. And uh, let's see what was I oh. And I also wanted to share with you a Bible verse. It's um, Romans 12.1. I don't know if we did this before, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, yes, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present yourselves a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. I think that is all that it is. I'm not sure if I quoted that correctly, but you can look it up. It's Romans 12.1. It's a good verse. We just want to present our bodies as a living sacrifice to God, obviously. And obviously accept Jesus in our Christ in our hearts and to be faithful servants for, servants for Christ. Well, I hope you enjoyed this update of my life and I hope you can have a good day and God bless.